Hey guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching this job video. Today we will make this healing orb in Unreal Engine Niagara. So I will make the material from the scratch. Step by step, you will learn each and everything. How the motion is going on, how the fernail is going on, how these particles working, these uh, edge glow like a smoke. So each and everything you will learn in this tutorial. So let's start this. So let's start this. So first I'll make a material. Um, or I have lots of orbs in my tutorial list so you can check I have different type of orbs so what I'll do I'll just take a random texture or you can use noise uh, noise node this one so let's say I'll use this aura texture which I created in Photoshop I have a separate tutorial for that so if you want to so if I connect this here let's make this unlit if you want to or you can connect it on both faces and let's use a power so I can control how much contrast I want so now you can see some black so basically what I want if you pan this it will go in one direction or diagonal so if I just make this so it will go up and with the X it will go from one side to other side and you can use both but if you want all the direction what you can do type here chaos and take this node normal from the height map open this function and copy this motion for vector control c close this then paste that here and delete this okay now i'll copy this texture also and right click make this object Oops. So right click and make that object connect this here and now if you preview this or you can just take the one jam from it and if you connect this here see it's panning in all direction and that looks really cool so you can either you can also add panel here if you want uh, more uh, that di directional if you want so I'll just take a texture coordinate and make this like two or two or you can make parameter if you want to control see looks cool and you have also this speed if you want and i think that's that's okay it looks fine i think i will make this four on x yeah now this looks good i will add actually a rotator and connect this here let's see how it will change this so it will also rotate it like this i can make this maybe point one that's enough so you have this and let's say you, now you want a color green color or something so i'll just put it here i will take another texture i will take blur i don't want the sim same color i want variation in the color so if i preview this you can see it has this let me also change the tiling so it's two and one okay now if you take the lerp and connect this and you can put two colors i'll take two colors one it little bit like this green and second is absolute green pure green so i'll connect these both here and let it preview so it has little bit variation okay so you can actually play here you can use the power let me multiply it with like three take the power and saturate and let's preview it first there will be more contrast now see and if i now connect this so you you can see now both colors separately like this now you can play with these values okay and then at the last i will multiply this whole thing with this and connect it here and here let it preview okay so i will make this maybe 1.5 this thing maybe 2 i don't want that much of contrast but yeah now you can see that now you can make these settings however you want and let's do something uh, on it so i'll just take the fernail preview 
So this is how it looks. I'll make this two, take the power. So it will be like the edges. Then I will multiply this whole thing with this for nail. So for the edges, I have separate thing. And that will go to the emissive. And you can also add a multiply here to increase if you want the glow. Let's say I want five. So the edges will be more brighter like this. Cool. Although the center should be also a little more, more brighter. So what I'll do, I'll use a sign here. And with the sign, you will see how it will repeat that. It's black, then again it's white. So if I make this two, it will be Yeah, like this. Although you can add separately for the center if you want. So let's say this is the default value I was using. And I'll use the saturate here. Then I'll use one more finale. And I invert this and take a power. So now with the invert, it will be just white from the center. And with the power, I can increase this. So it will be just here like a core rest is black you can see like this so i will saturate it then i will add these together so this will be like we have the brighter edges and we have the brighter core that we can use here okay you can do it with a single vernier but if you want now it looks little more cool okay one more thing you can do is you can use the bump if you want and let's say i want to use it here and here and it needs a texture so i'll just copy this make it texture sampler and just connect it here let me save and with the height value we can now increase or decrease the the bump the parallax thing so if I make it like drastic change, let's say 0.5, now you can see how it looks. It has now depth. You can also go negative if you want. Cool. And I guess I need more tiling in it, maybe three and two. And 0.3. That's enough. So we have this now. So we can now add lots of things in the particle. So let's say, although this looks really cool that we did here for the material. So let me also do something in the particles. So I will make a Niagara and take this, open this. First, I want to use that mesh. So I will use the minimal emitter. And I just need one particle, so I'll just use the burst one. It should spawn once, so I'll just make the loop behavior once. It should never die, so in the particle state, just turn this off, so it will never die. Then we need a mesh. Mesh. And I'll just choose a sphere. Then we need that material, this one. So just overlay, overwrite, sorry. This mass has different UVs, so I need to change that. I think sphere. Yeah, this one is perfect. So we have this. Now we want to add some particles over it. So let's and one more emitter you can use the fountain if you want add let me save i don't need a uh, dra uh, gravity no velocity for now we have this sphere location i will increase this let's increase the spawn rate just to visualize how it looks okay and then we can decrease the size and see what's happening here the pivot of my sphere is little bit off. So I'll open this. 
we need to check the size is 100 and let me show you the pivot it is down here so we need to offset it on the z minus 50 so it will be down here okay so now we have this so i will add maybe this much and then we can add velocity from the point and then we can make it like 50 and velocity maybe just 0 and 50 like this then uh, let's add actually a gravity but a little bit like 50 is going up or maybe 10 okay i'll make this green and there is a little variation here i'll make some bright and make the size maybe 5 and 1 random still too much so let's increase the drag and we can also add some curl noise into it maybe 100 i will also animate the curl noise so you have this and now i want to add something like a glow or something so i'll duplicate this and i will change the material uh, to a smoke material let me show you which one i'll take smoke and i will use actually this one maybe this i think i have one additive also let me just search these are all translamed It's okay. What I'll do, I'll just duplicate this or make an instance of this and just make this additive here. And it. Let me show you the material. It's very basic. It's just 4x4 four four random cloud pattern from the Photoshop. It's not sequence and material looks very simple as you can see. So I'll browse this and here I will change the material. Sub UV. 4x4 four four. and here I will take the animation and it should be random and choose the spread render here okay now let's say I want like 150 and these all yeah it's fine not that much of velocity maybe 20 and size maybe 200 100 and they should be fade in fade out and opacity should be down maybe 0 0.2 0 0.1 yeah you can also add a rate rotation rate random value i will add maybe 50 and minus 50 stream of minus 50 let me save again one more thing i will do i just want some very bright particles on the spheres so i'll copy this paste and i'll make these maybe 520 and 200 and spawn rate maybe just 10 and these all should be visible so i will use the camera offset maybe 50 now these are visible here and i will also use the size and just use this curve and use the same curve in this one also so this is it i hope you liked it thanks for watching you can do one more thing you can just duplicate this one and what i'll do i'll just delete this and take the sprite render again which comes with the radial and now it's like a glow but what i'll do i'll delete the sphere location and i think size should be 150 120 yeah so you can see is a glow kind of thing you can also do that 
so overall this looks nice you can do a lot of thing but i'm leaving it here so thanks for watching keep learning bye bye